Hi, my name is Sandy from the Waste Dyson and I am the Teacher Intern Program Manager at Acorn Education. Acorn Education's vision, vision has always been to provide quality education to all scholars regardless of their socio-economical status. So we specifically serving the no-fee schools. Um, and for this to take place and be efficient, for this vision to come alive, we need good quality teachers, we need good quality leaders, but we have those, but what about the future, what about tomorrow? So currently in South Africa we have a major issue with teachers remaining within the educational sector, we've got a lot of teachers leaving, um, and we also don't have an uh, efficient amount of student teachers applying for jobs and completing their degrees. So for us, the next best thing was to start training the teachers of tomorrow, to make sure that the teachers we have when our schools grow will be mission aligned and they'll have the techniques that they need and they will be passionate about serving this community that we are so passionate about. Um, both our schools, we're currently launching the program, where, where we currently launched the program, Epics Primary and Epics High School, they're both still growing. So Epics High School will have their first grade 12s next year, which everybody's very excited about, and Epics Primary will have the first group of grade 5s next year. So every year the school's growing, so there's opportunity to recruit additional teachers. And that's why we decided to specifically launch the program within these two schools. I think the answer lies in the term itself, the term assistant. So a teacher assistant is usually somebody that provides support and assistance to the teacher, and that's the focus, or to the school. So a lot of these teaching assistant positions that's currently available will include the coaching of sports after schools, or making copies for the teacher, or stapling papers, or whatever it is that the assistant position looks like. The focus is not on the learning. So for us at Acorn Education, we are focused on developing the individual, we are focused on developing the intern, and that is what we do. So we see how can we provide this individual that's a final year education student with maximum support when it comes to professional development, providing them opportunities to teach, observe what excellence look like by observing their mental teacher, um, and then providing a healthy and supportive environment for them to grow in and feel comfortable to make mistakes and learn from. The teacher internship program is designed and um, relying on quite a few individuals to form part of it. The first uh, aspect to it is that each intern will receive a mentor teacher. So our mentor teachers are veteran teachers at the schools, teachers who show a certain level of mastery of the techniques that we believe in in our classes. And they also get trained as mentors so that they know how to equip them to know how they can support the interns. Then you obviously have your interns, so each intern is paired with a mental teacher, and then in my role as teacher internship program manager is to kind of manage the logistical aspect of it, but I also provide one-on-one -on -one coaching for the interns. We do every second week we do a three-hour professional development session with the interns. Um, so there's it's quite ex extensive training that's taking place and constantly providing feedback and support to see how they can grow. And I must say this year being the first year and amidst COVID, they have grown a lot in an incredibly short time because the system is so supportive. So this year we launched our very first internship program and due to COVID we were supposed to launch in March but we couldn't because of lockdown. So we only launched at the end of July. But despite that, our interns had 10 weeks of this program so far. So that's only because they get one day off a week to focus on their studies. That's only 35 full work days. But when we look at it, it leads to over 300 hours of observation. So 300 hours spent in the mentors classes observing and teaching, um, really digging into what does it look like to effectively teach within a classroom, how to manage a classroom, which is a big anxiety for, for a student to think about entering a South African classroom. Um, we spent 45 hours on professional development, so that includes the sessions that we have with a group of interns as well as the one-on-one -on -one coaching I provide them after their practicals that they complete in class. They do an online course where they record themselves practicing these techniques and then I also provide feedback on that. And lastly, we focus a lot on values because there's a lot of good teachers out there in South Africa, but we want good teachers who are mission aligned and are passionate to serve no-fee schools that truly believe that 
despite who you are and where you come from, you deserve quality education. You deserve it even more than the guy next to you because we want you to succeed. And we're tapping into that. I want those passionate young people to get on board and become part of the AMOL family. So we're currently busy recruiting for 2021, um, for our code of 2021. The program will officially launch with the interns on the 1st of March. So before that, we'll do our training for our mentors. Um, and what the program includes as well is there's a monthly stipend that we pay each intern um, to cover travel costs, etc. And if an intern is not a bursary holder, then the program also provides funding for that so we can cover the, the cost of the study fees. Um, at the moment, like I said, we're still busy recruiting and we're really hoping to find those individuals who are final year B8 or BGCE scholars, preferably distance learners, um, alternatively at a university that will accommodate them to be available for full work days a week and one day a week focusing on studies. It's quite a focused program. We want to make sure that each intern um, gets the individual attention and support that they need. So we currently have space available for 12. So that's quite little if you think about the amount of scholars that you have, um, uh, the amount of students we have studying education in South Africa. The ideal candidate would definitely be a final year B8 or PhD student, um, preferably somebody that's with a long distance, studying long distance, so like UNISA or NWU. Um, alternatively, a student studying through a university that accommodates them to be uh, four full work days a week. It's somebody who's dedicated, somebody who's passionate, and is very eager to learn and grow and become an accomplished teacher. And like I said previously, it really is important for us that, that you share our passion for no fee schools and operating within the no fee school realm. And currently, because of the community we're serving at Apex Primary and Apex High School, our interns do need to be able to speak both Afrikaans and English, since our scholars are Afrikaans and English. This is such an amazing opportunity, um, not only because of the time and the knowledge we invest in you, but it really is a program that allows support for you, whether it's the funding aspect of it, the training aspect of it, the development, or just exposing you to what the real classroom setup looks like. Um, and it is possibly the start of a great career for an intern who gets in and who gets on board with us. Um, I browsed on Facebook and I saw um, the ad on one of the Facebook pages um, on the basis of that in Visca. And there, there is um, where I immediately um, got the information and I emailed my CV and the motivation letter and applied for the internship program. Um, I was actually looking for a job for next year and then I found this in the um, Indeed website yeah, and I applied. Okay, the reason why I um, applied for the internship is because I am a long distance um, learner and I, I wanted to get as much as possible hands on experience and I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to give back and um, yeah and in the ad, advert uh, advertisement they also said you're going to get instructional coaching and feedback and that is what I looked forward to the most. And the course of the of the internship as well like when we do teaching back at the university they only give us like two months max to, to go out and teach and the length of the internship gives you more experience out there, gaining experience, 
picking up techniques, seeing what you mean to that, and incorporating that in your teaching. So, for me, mostly the, the exposure and the time being at the length of the course. It's with my teaching practicals, I only had five weeks um, to complete my, my teaching practice, which is very, really short and for a long distance learner as well. So I also feel that I got so much experience, so much exposure. Um, I had the opportunity to teach almost every single day where as the teachers at other schools, they want, they have their schedules and they have their planning and then they fit you around their planning and you get so little time to to actually teach, you only get time to teach what you have to teach and not any extra lessons to give you even more experience and more exposure to um, the classroom management as well. Thank you. Um, I think I'm going to well, I did see other um, internships available on ED and I was considering applying to them as well, but they didn't have everything that this internship program had. Um, and I knew some of the schools that were um, advertising and I just thought it's going to be another time when we do our practical and we are second priority and you don't get as much feedback and support as we, we would get here. And because it was, they were so insistent in the ad about you are getting training and you are getting feedback and you have support and you are here to learn and we want you to be here. Um, that just made me want to be here even more and I knew that I was going to get so much more um, experience out of this than at any other place. I think I found the rhythm by now, like the internship provides you an off day once in a week to, for you to complete your studies and I think that is very sufficient for me. I would also say that it sometimes help, the internship actually helps us to complete our university work because a lot of the time it's about reflections and being yeah. inside the classroom mm -hmm. and we are in the classroom and we yeah. are doing the work yeah. so it's, it's easier. And also the mentors was also very um, supportive and gave us advice and went through um, our lesson plans that we had to plan for the teaching practical and I found um, very good because I didn't get that in other schools where I did my practicals. The techniques that we're learning on the Teach Like a Champion course will definitely help me in, in the classroom next year with my teaching and the techniques that we learn, learn during our professional development sessions. Every second week we have one with our program manager and in those professional developments we learn the techniques with each other and we try to incorporate it into classroom situa situations that will help us next year in our own classroom. I would say, I would definitely say basically the same thing. Yeah. Um, it just gave me a lot of confidence because I think as a young teacher, I basically, well at the high school I look like any one of them. If I were to wear a uniform, I yeah. basically you wouldn't be able to tell. Um, so it can be a bit difficult at first. So I think now because I have the techniques and I, and I know what I'm doing, um, I know that I feel confident to actually start and be in the class. Next year, I'm going to be a teacher at APSI, um, English grade 11, our language. And um, for me, um, I'm going to be taking everything that I've learned in the internship program and going to implement it in my classroom. Um, I am fortunate enough to continuously grow because here at APSI, we have professional development um, every week, we have coaches. So I'm constantly going to be evaluated and um, there's always going to be room for me to grow. So I'm not just going to, you know, learn what I've, what, I've, what I've got out of the internship and there I go, you know. For me, I feel I entered the program with a lot of unanswered questions and a lot of those questions have been answered to me in this program because of the professional development that we did, especially like with the learners, you're getting them 
um, ready for class outside the classroom already. That is one thing. As they come inside the classroom, you have the door now on the board for them. So there's no, even though they might be off task, you know, they know that there is something that they're supposed to do. And again, further on in the lesson, if they do go off task, you have all these techniques to bring them back to what they were supposed to do. After the internship and all the things we have, the whole school is using these techniques and it's really nice, it's cohesive and it makes it a lot easier to implement. Mm -hmm. And everyone's on the same page, everyone wants to be a, to be a teacher and the, the scholars really want to be here as well. And um, to be quite honest, I don't want to teach anywhere else. I would go back to the classroom management techniques because I do feel even though you prepare a lesson, a good quality lesson, if you do not have classroom proper classroom management techniques, it's not going to go well. And I'm not just talking about um, telling them to be quiet and getting them. Like there's a technique for everything. Like university cannot prepare you for what? you are going to get in a classroom. It is completely unrealistic if you think that doing your practical is going to, like you can't determine at that time, like if a, class, if a, if a lesson went well, or lessons went well during your practical, you can't determine that you are going to be a good teacher and that you are going to be able to navigate teaching, especially as, an, as a new teacher. University can't prepare for that. The internship gives you a real feel as to how you are going to navigate kids and I say this because in class we're not just given a lesson and we're just getting feedback on our lesson. We get feedback on how did you handle this class. Your mentors, then your mentor says, okay, maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that. They are preparing you so well for just what you're going to get next year and I think it's such an eye-opener year because <coughs> The interns are seen as teachers, so the kids treat us like teachers, so we actually see what teachers deal with every day. We also have to prepare and, and be here early, we also have to leave late, so we know exactly what, like I know exactly what next is, well not exactly due to COVID, but I know what my life is going to be like next year with regards to teacher, I mean, of teaching and the children and also this for me this opportunity has shown me the reality of what teachers deal with every single day it's not just like when you're a student teacher you just sit you observe okay today she's giving a lesson and there you go you are actually you are part of the staff and that's how they make this feel here so you are dealing with everything that they are dealing with so this opportunity I think man I, I, I don't I feel like people should be flocking, people should be fighting to get this opportunity. Before the internship, I've done maybe two practicals and I was quite, I was quite happy with where I was at as a teacher. Um, and I, was, I, I thought I was a good teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and then we go through all the techniques and the classroom management and then you realize all the places where you have to grow. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a bit like, wow, like, have I been doing a horrible job this whole time? But it's also like, I already have gotten so far and I have so much more to learn and experience. And you, you get to this point where you're not upset about all your shortcomings, but you are now excited to take on the challenge and you're excited to learn more. And it's always, we are constantly getting feedback. We are constantly getting help and support. And so we know, not only do we know, okay, that part of the lesson didn't go so well, we also know what we need to do next to improve it. Um, so that, that for me, I feel ready to take on next year.